What's up guys, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New TW. Got a bunch of stuff, some stuff that came in from my cast finally. So first thing I'm gonna go into is the new Lunker Hunt Froglet. A really cool new frog design. Um, you get a lot of action just like you would uh, be using like a topwater uh, walking bait, but you can throw this thing into any kind of vegetation you want. So lily pads and weeds and whatever, it's gonna stay perfectly weedless, but uh, it's gonna allow you to get that, that walk the dog like spook style action uh, with this style of bait. So pretty cool design by Lunker Hunt. Waiting for frog season to come around, check these out. All right, next up, we got a new swim jig from Gotham Coach. I wanna show you guys these swim jigs because they're, uh, it's actually a tungsten swim jig. Not a lot of companies make a tungsten swim jig. I mean, these ones I have in my hand, these are half ounce size, and I mean, the head on these looks like it's about a quarter ounce size. Um, super stout hook on these guys, um, you know, nice weed guard. Great colors, but um, they got molded eyes, gill plates and stuff on the heads. Great new swim jig, you know, you know, tungsten's expanding into other, other parts of fishing now, so it's awesome to see that. Giving you a little bit more compact, finesse style package, so check these out from Gotham Coach. All right, next up we got a new worm. This is the Venom Lures, the Beast stick bait. Uh, if you guys are a fan of throwing Cinco style baits, um, you might want to check this one out. This is probably about the biggest one that's out there right now. It comes in seven three quarters inches long and it's nearly, it's a half inch thick at the widest part. So you guys are in, you know, Florida, Texas, California Delta, those big fish areas, you like to throw stick baits when the bite's tough. Uh, definitely want to give this one like it's going to have, you know, pull those bigger bites for you. Also, uh, Venom Lures is actually using a, a big, a larger grain of salt. So it actually, it keeps the worms soft, but they're not going to tear up as easily as a lot of other soft plastic baits. So I know that's a problem with a lot of stick baits is catch one fish and it's ripped in half. Uh, not going to happen with these since the larger grain salt's in, so it's going to be a lot more durable. All right, next up, we got another one came in from iCast. These are actually the best of show winner, um, Terminal Tackle. These are the Trapper Hooks. Um, trapper Tackle Hooks have this patented design with this box just past the point that's called the Trapper Box. I mean, once the fish gets on there um, around those couple 90 degree turns, it's gonna be nearly impossible for the fish to throw that hook. Also, because that design on there, it's gonna keep your baits a lot more, a lot more in line and a lot more a lot more natural looking and you're not going to tear up as many baits with them having constantly sliding down the shank of the hook. Um, they use a standard you know needle point hook on there because they found that some of the hooks with uh, you know multiple cutting edges actually cut bigger holes in fish's mouth and allows them to slip off a lot easier so standard super sharp needle point on there but that trapper box I mean you're going to land a lot more fish with these things so great one from my cast check those out from trapper tackle. Okay from pro point lures Kind of a smaller company, we got their new wobble head and their new shaky head. I mean, their shaky head right here, pretty stout hook on it, big Gamagatsu hook, um, recessed line tie, got a unique head shape, rounded size, so it's gonna get through cover pretty well. Uh, got their wobble head here, same thing, recessed line tie and a flat bottom, so it's gonna land perfect every time, giving you a great presentation. Both outfitted with Gamagatsu hooks, but one of the cool things about their baits, or their, their jigs actually, is that they're matching them to they're soft plastic baits, so their color schemes are all lined up. They got a variety of color jigs, so you can match them up to all the different kind of bugs they got. So, I mean, great new design, and if you guys like to, you know, keep a real streamlined look to your baits, you know, give the pro points a look. Up next, we got the new Waterwolf 1.1 camera. Uh, if you guys haven't seen any of the Waterwolf footage, you definitely need to go online and check that stuff out. It produces some amazing footage. Uh, watching fish come up behind your lure and attack it, or just see how the fish are reacting, it's really awesome and also be able to see what's down there in your area. If you think there's fish down there, you can actually look and see what you're actually running into, what kind of cover, what kind of fish are down there. Um, some of the upgrades to it, it's now a, kind of a translucent green color instead of all black, so it's a little bit more stealth, a little bit more camouflage in the water. It's also able to go down to 120 meters now, so a lot more, a lot deeper waterproof capabilities. So if you guys are doing a little bit of rock fishing, halibut, something deep, uh, you can send this down a pretty long ways. Also comes with a new mounting system on it. It kind of has like a ball hinge style mount. So, and it comes with the capability of mounting it up to a boom stick and also fits into the GoPro uh, mounts as well. But with that little hinge mount, you can get just the perfect angle any way you want to set it up for on a stick or on a rod or anything like that. So um, just great, great new upgrades on the water wolf. Be sure to check those out. All right, we got a bunch of stuff in from Bass Mafia that came out in Diecast. First one that we got here is a new terminal coffin. So if you guys are you know, really into keeping all your terminal organized, this is gonna be a great new way to do it. Have the hook coffins on one side, and then we have your weight coffins on the other side. You know, you can fit everything from small 
16th ounce size weights all the way up to the big two ounce flipping weights. Also, these boxes come out, um, so you can just take one with you if you just need the one. Also, we're, we also have just the, um, the small hook and weight coffins by themselves. So if you just want to get these coffins by themselves because you already have a big box you want to put them into, you can buy these separately, so great option. We also got their blade coffin in. So this is going to be great for holding all your spinner baits, bladed jigs, anything like that. And it's got a bar inside there, so it holds them all in there, so they're not going to fall out. So keep them nice, straight, and organized. One that I'm pretty excited about is our new cranking box. Now, it's a pretty deep box, but it holds up to 44 big deep diving crankbaits up to 8XD size. I mean, I know the design of my deep crank box only holds about 20 or 24, so I mean, this is almost doubling it right here. Just like all the coffins, super sturdy construction. You can run these things over with a car. They're great boxes. Um, be sure to check out all the new coffins that we got. Also, we got a new tackle bag. This is uh, the Bass Mafia Bass Mafia's tackle bag. Uh, great heavy duty bag. It fits up to 10, 3,700 size boxes. So a ton of tackle. Um, bunch of pouches on the outside. You know, external uh, sunglasses pouch. Got uh, all your plier holders on the outside. One of the cool features it has on it is it has wheels and an extendable arm on here. So. You know, if you, you got this thing loaded down with 10 boxes of jigs, it's going to get pretty heavy. It's going to be easy to wheel this thing up and down the ramp or to your buddy's boat or wherever you're taking it to. So great new heavy-duty bag from Bass Mafia you guys need to check out. All right, we also got in the Rush Creek Rod Racks. Um, these are both in the Infinity series that I have here I wanted to show you guys. Um, this one is their spinning version. It holds 30 rods on this model. And this is the flat version. It holds 16 rods on them. You can get them in different color stains. Super heavy duty, high quality wood design. Um, the spinning ones are super easy to put together. Uh, didn't need, need any tools, we probably threw it together in about 30 seconds. Um, these are gonna be a drop ship items, so they, they're not actually here at the moment. So if you do order one with a bunch of other stuff, just know that they're not gonna come with your whole order, they will ship separately. Um, but great rod racks if you're looking to set up your garage and you know get your rods off the wall from leaning up against the corner. So take the, give these a look from Rush Creek. All right, one last thing I wanted to mention for you guys is we got a few days left on the 25 days of savings sale. Bunch of great stuff on there. A uh, bunch of great rods, reels, baits. A lot of the stuff is closeout items, so once it's gone, it's going to be gone forever, so get it when you can. One of the things that I liked on there were the number eight blackout rods. They're going for like 50, 60 bucks. Um, it's really hard to find a good quality rod, especially in that price range, so an awesome deal. Got a bunch of actions for spinning and casting. Suits all your needs, so make sure you get these while you can, guys. For more detailed information on the products seen here today, please click the link or the images below. And to view everything that's seen with Tackle Warehouse this week, please click the link in the description. And be sure to check back with us next week for more What's New TW. Thank you. This is the Livingston. This is the Shredder 53. This is about a six to eight foot, six, seven foot diamond crankbait. This is going to separately divide all of your 6XDs, your hot lips, your 8XDs. 